Hi friends, welcome to this session. In this session, we are going to discuss on the steps which we need to follow to install MySQL on CentOS 7. With CentOS 7, the default database in CentOS repositories, that is MariaDB. With MariaDB, you can perform a similar sort of functions which you can perform using MySQL database. But if you still prefer MySQL as your preferred database, then you need to connect to MySQL repositories to download it. And in this lecture, we will discuss all the required steps. So first, uh, we will connect to MySQL repositories. Then we will install MySQL server. Once that is installed successfully, we will enable MySQL service and start the services. And at the end, we will perform the basic MySQL hardening. So we can jump to technical session now. Okay, friends, let's, be let's begin. I am logged on to the system which we are using for MySQL installation. Here, let's verify whether MySQL is already installed or not. So I will just grep MySQL. I will use grep minus i, sometime M is in caps. If you see MySQL is not installed. As a pre-check, uh, we need to assure that system is having a FQDN name. So we will use command host name minus F. So this will tell us what is the FQDN name. Yeah, that is matching. And also make sure in local host file, you got a correct record. If you see this got a correct record, this is IP and this is the FQDN name. This is the host name. So that's fine. Now, let me show you the thing which I told you by default, uh, MySQL is not part of CentOS repositories. So let me show you if I run yum install MySQL server, enter. If you see no package MySQL available, right? Or if I run yum install MySQL, If you see, I'm just pressing no here because I don't want to install it. But if you see, uh, I typed yum install MySQL, it is installing MariaDB. Uh, that's the thing I was telling, like MariaDB is the default database. Let me show you repositories which are configured on this CentOS 7 server, yum repo list. If you see here, these are the default uh, CentOS repositories, this one and these two. This is the extra packages, EPL repositories, which I have configured on the server. And uh, now we have to connect to MySQL repository as uh, we want to install MySQL. To do so, I will uh, download the package uh, which got all the configuration to connect to MySQL repository. So command will be wget, I'm just downloading that MySQL repository package. Here, so this package is downloaded. Now I will run rpm minus ivh to install that package. So this package is installed. So let's check our repository configuration now. Okay. So if you see uh, here, we got uh, these three extra repositories, which are MySQL repositories. They are configured with the uh, the package which we just installed. So let's begin uh, MySQL server installation. So I will run command yum install MySQL server, enter. So now my, see, uh, after configuring repository, we are able to download uh, the MySQL package. And these are the packages which will be installed. If you see, this is MySQL community server. So with community, that is not enterprise. So what is difference between enterprise and community? With enterprise, you will you can get uh, support and that's licensed version. Community, that is freeware. And uh, there are a couple of limitations with community one. But still community is free and this is my lab system. I will discuss about community only. But commands are totally same. So I will press here, yes. I, I want to download it. And uh, so download begin. Download still going on, that's around 
88 MB package so it will take some time I'm on broadband so installation is still going on here for these keys I have to say yes so now installation started and as we can see installation is completed so but uh, it is telling us information this was replaced by MariaDB libraries and uh, we have installed MySQL community server version 5.6.33 these are the libraries let's verify with rpm command rpm minus qa grep minus i MySQL yeah if we can see uh, this is our my community server that's installed so as next step uh, we will enable MySQL service to enable service let me clear my screen so we will use systemctl command systemctl enable mean uh, whenever the server boots this service should start automatically systemctl enable mysql dot service enter it is saying no such file or directory why mysql D sorry that's a daemon yep we are right so and let's start this service now this daemon now system ctl start mysql d mysql d dot service just taking time okay so it started uh, let's verify status of this service to make sure make sure like uh, service started properly status okay if you see service is enabled which we just enabled it for start automatically when server boots and now it is active and uh, these are the processes uh, which are running after starting the service okay friends uh, first thing which we have to do we have to perform basic hardening so that's a recommendation once you install uh, mysql and start it first time always run this script uh, this is mysql secure installation this is delivered by mysql packages only so once you run that here uh, you can set root password it is asking enter current password for root so that's a fresh installation we don't know and we have not set up any root password we will just press enter set root, pa root password yes we want to set it here we will type our new password so I have selected one password I have entered it so by default in database there are few anonymous users so it's always recommended to remove those anonymous users I will say yes remove those then let's say part of hardening you want to disallow root logins remotely yeah that's always recommended to disallow root logins remotely I don't want someone if someone hacked my password he can log in from remote system on my database and uh, do some uh, crashing or some bad thing on my database I don't want that so I am di disallowing root logins remotely yes then remove test database and access to it so by default mysql go to test database i don't want to keep that test database i will say yes remove it and uh, we have made couple of changes so if you see here when i said remove test database and access it yes dropping test database it gave error can't drop test database database not exist not critical keep moving so i'm not sure that's a fresh package why because by default test database exists on all new installations maybe there are some changes with Red Hat 7 so that's not a critical thing because database not exists that's the whole purpose uh, of uh, this hardening so we are fine so we have made couple of changes uh, so to make those changes activate uh, we have to reload uh, tables everything is stored in tables in database so I will say yes reload so that's done friends and uh, let's check mysql processes i'm sure they are running mysql so if you see these processes are running so that's about uh, 
this particular installation and basic hardening. In next lectures, we will discuss other things about MySQL database. Uh, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any query, you can uh, always post in my YouTube uh, uh, note section. If you like this video, hit like button and sub subscribe to my channel for uh, future videos. Thank you.